Hi everyone, welcome to researchmd.com. So, uh, today we got a great presentation. Today we're going to talk, I mean, we're going to look into how much melatonin uh, we needed to for a better sugar control in patients with the diabetes. We've been doing series of melatonin, right? Uh, I mean, we looked at the mechanism of action, how does melatonin work? So in now, I mean, today's presentation, we're going to look at some on a scientific basis, okay? How much melatonin is beneficial to control the blood sugar in diabetes patient. Um, uh, so my, again, my name is Premier Charyat. I'm a program director in internal medicine residency, transitional residency. I teach medical students and medical residents. I'm also director of research and assistant professor of medicine to major universities. So let's get into our subject. And just uh, introduction of melatonin. Um, where does it produce? It's actually produced in the pineal gland. So you got luminous information coming from the retina when we become, actually it happens in the dark and then it's secreted, go through the suprachiasmatic nucleus in the um, hypothalamus and then it goes to the pineal gland in the brain and then starts secreting melatonin, okay? And now pathogenesis, so what happens in the diabetes? In the diabetes, the main thing is the abnormal insulin sensitivity, okay? Which will lead to hyperinsulinemia, central obesity, progressive losses of beta cell. That's pretty much where the insulin and all are produced. Impaired glucose tolerance, which will lead to diabetes. It could be some genetic factors, could be physical inact inactivity and high blood glucose. A lot of things contributing to it, right? So how does the melatonin help in diabetes? Melatonin in the diabetes, what happens is the melatonin act on the insulin receptor tyrosine phosphorylation and thereby it increases the IGF for insulin growth factor production, okay? And that when you have increased insulin, then you have like a better blood sugar control. And the other thing is also, uh, the main thing, um, so we're not main thing, some of the reasons for um, having diabetes is or, uh, you have this altered circadian rhythm or the body's 24 hour clock is usually kind of messed up. Your um, eating cycle and the, uh, the fasting cycle is going to be uh, disorganized. That all leads to like ma many hormones and your blood sugar level depends upon that, okay? so. Melatonin restores your body's 24-hour clock or circadian rhythm, they reset it, which everybody knows that, right? And also melatonin, there's so many ways melatonin can affect, as we know, it increases the metabolism. What happens when we increase our metabolism? Our weight goes down, again, blood sugar. Everybody knows that. If you lose weight, you get a better control of blood sugar, right? It induces the insulin secretion signaling pathway, so better production of insulin and improve the beta cell function, so uh, improve the production of insulin again. So our, our question today is how much melatonin needed per day um, to have a good control in diabetes management, okay? So we did do a, um, a meta-analysis of study, does melatonin works in blood sugar control, right? That study clearly showed melatonin as an, inf uh, as an effect on the blood sugar control. Then that study also, it said there is like a low dose and high dose, there's a big difference you can see um, from this study, okay? So what we did is we went back to the study and found a best randomized control study. And it was published in the clinical nutrition and then we just kind of went in there to find out how much dose they used to get the effect. Okay, so in that study, based on the results, say fasting blood glucose level, melatonin, if you take 10 milligram melatonin and they compared it, there's a big difference and with a, I mean, a statistically proven benefit of blood sugar control. Okay, so melatonin um, 10 milligram based on the study is better for a better control of glucose level in diabetes patient. So, in our, in the, based on our um, literature search and looking at the scientific article, higher dose of melatonin, which is 10 milligram, helps with better blood sugar control, okay? Thank you so much for watching our channel. Please subscribe to our channel, so we'll be back next time with uh, more presentations like that again. Thank you so much.